Sorry arthritis can be a very debilitating condition. Hi, I'm Dr. Mikey Yu, board certified integrative rheumatologist. And today I'm gonna to be covering the often missed subtle signs of psoriatic arthritis that you shouldn't miss. Like with any other disease, there are warning signs of psoriatic arthritis that you should watch out for. And sometimes your doctor can miss these clues. And the warning signs are not just in the joint pain itself, but they're also in the other organ manifestations. And you should know this because your doctors can miss these clues and miss this vital diagnosis. And you have to be your own patient advocate when it comes to these autoimmune diseases. The first warning sign of psoriatic arthritis is joint pain. And it is the pattern of the joint pain that you shouldn't miss. In psoriatic arthritis, the joint pain can be on the PIPs, which are the middle joints of your fingers, and also the DIPs, which are the top joints of your fingers. However, there are other variations of psoriatic arthritis that mimic rheumatoid arthritis. Another variation of psoriatic arthritis include the MCP distribution where it attacks the bottom knuckles and the middle joints of the fingers. So it can be tricky. However, the most common one is the DIP and PIP involvement of the joint pain. And not only that, patients can have morning stiffness for at least 30 minutes to a full day with psoriatic arthritis. Now, this is different than osteo arthritis because osteoarthritis, which is wear and tear arthritis that usually our grandparents get. For example, that joint pain doesn't have morning stiffness for 30 minutes or longer. It's usually about five or 10 minutes at most. With psoriatic arthritis, the joint pain usually gets better with movement and worsens with rest. So that's another warning sign that your joint pain could be psoriatic arthritis. Other patterns of joint pain that I look for as a rheumatologist in psoriatic arthritis is swelling of the joints. Not only can you get joint swelling and pain of the hands, but you can certainly get it of the feet, of the knees, elbows, TMJs, but not only that, you can get back pain as well. So that's another big clue that this could be psoriatic arthritis. Because in rheumatoid arthritis, you don't usually see back pain involved. And in osteoarthritis, which is wear and tear arthritis that I mentioned earlier, of course you can get back pain, but the back pain doesn't come with the morning stiffness, the swelling, and it certainly does not get better with movement. Two other patterns of psoriatic arthritis that I look for as a rheumatologist is the nails. In psoriatic arthritis, you can get something called nail dystrophy, where there is inflammation around the nails and your nails can be disrupted. So you can get something called pinning nails. So the nails, it looks like someone took a pencil and started jabbing it. And that can look like there's divots in the nails. So that's one pattern. Another pattern is it looks like the nails are thickened or the nails are being raised. So there are different patterns of psoriatic arthritis nails that we can see. In addition, you can get something called dactylitis, also known as sausage fingers. And that looks like your whole finger or your whole toe becoming severely swollen, like a sausage, which is why we call it sausage fingers. And you can see it with any finger and with any toe as well. That's one of the major differentiators with psoriatic arthritis versus the different arthritises out there, such as rheumatoid arthritis. Not only can we get joint pain with psoriatic arthritis, but we can also get tendon pain as well. So you can certainly see tendonitis with psoriatic arthritis. And not only that, you can also see something called enthesitis. Now, enthesitis is inflammation of the connection point between the tendon and the bones and the ligaments as well. So it's a pinpoint inflammation, and I have had that before with my own arthritis. So you can get it at the connection point on your elbows, on your knees, and even your ankles as well. There are different antheses throughout the body. So you can even see it in your shoulders also. So enthesitis, you can see that. And sometimes that tendon will be severely painful and swollen even if you don't move it. Or even if you move a little bit of it, it can be very painful. And like I said before, I've experienced that type of pain in my life as well with my arthritis. There are a couple of other 
warning signs that I want to point you to. You can get a psoriatic arthritis autoimmune attack of the eyes and usually it manifests with something called uveitis. And when you get this type of attack, it can cause redness of the eyes, make it very painful to look at the lights, and also can be very hard to see and make it very blurry as well. So eye manifestations are seen in psoriatic arthritis. And sometimes that's one of the early signs of psoriatic arthritis is that you get uveitis first, and sometimes the joint pain comes shortly after that. And I've seen that in my clinic also. One big manifestation and warning sign that you could have psoriatic arthritis is if you have psoriasis. So psoriasis is an autoimmune attack of the skin. And it can sometimes be confused with eczema or other types of rashes. But psoriasis itself does not have to come with psoriatic arthritis. But if you have joint pain and you have psoriasis at the same time, that's a major clue that what you could be experiencing could be psoriatic arthritis. Now, if you have arthritis alone without the psoriasis, you can still have psoriatic arthritis. So don't discount the fact that you have psoriatic arthritis if you don't have psoriasis. Other non-specific symptoms that you could be experiencing psoriatic arthritis are warning signals of brain fog and fatigue because you can have overall systemic inflammation in psoriatic arthritis and it can affect the brain, causing you to have brain fog and overall very tired in the body. So if you're experiencing all these symptoms, these are warning signs of psoriatic arthritis. Next, I wanna go over the warning signs in the labs that you should watch out for. Three labs that I really want you to pay attention to are the C-reactive protein and the ESR or sedimentation rate because those are inflammatory markers that all doctors and rheumatologists get. And if those are elevated along with the fact that you've seen some of these patterns with your arthritis, then it could very well be psoriatic arthritis. And not only that, there's a genetic test called HLA-B27. And this genetic marker can be seen in spondyloarthritis patients, which comprises of psoriatic arthritis. Arthritis. So if your HLA-B27 is elevated along with some of these other signs I've talked about, then you have a lot of the puzzle pieces for psoriatic arthritis. So I've covered many of the different warning signals of psoriatic arthritis. And I know that one of my followers requested I make this video. So this is for everyone that is experiencing psoriatic arthritis and also those that don't know what type of arthritis they have and they have joint pain and might have psoriatic arthritis. So I hope this helps you to figure out what type of arthritis you have. And if you join my content, please hit the notification bell, hit the like button, and also comment below what you learned about psoriatic arthritis and what you want to see next in the videos that I make because I talk about integrative medicine, functional medicine, and autoimmune diseases as well. And as always, let's beat inflammation together. And if you want to see me in my clinic, my website is www.drlifestyle.org. I'll see you guys next time.